Hey guys, kumusta? In this video, I want to share with you the important things I've learned when hiring and driving a car in Kefalonia. I will also give you tips on how to get around Kefalonia safely, things that you might find useful, and links of some car rentals in Kefalonia. In my opinion, the best way to get around Kefalonia is by hiring a car or a scooter. Hiring a car gives you that total freedom to go everywhere you like, whenever you want. Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, Asiatic TV, where I post travel videos, music, product reviews, and many more. So if that's something that interests you, please don't forget to subscribe. Now, I'm not a morning person. I'm also not the best person when it comes to sticking with times and appointments. That's probably why I always travel solo. So having my own transportation when I'm on holiday is really convenient so I can just whiz around to the destinations and explore. Now driving in Kefalonia can be daunting, especially for those people who just passed their tests, driving for the first time in the different side of the road, or driving for the first time in a different country. So I compiled some tips and things you need to know when you are hiring and driving a car in Kefalonia. So without further ado, let's go and talk about it. Number one, book early. If you are coming to Kefalonia in the peak seasons, make sure you book your car early as it gets really busy. I've learned this the hard way. A week before going to Kefalonia, I wanted to hire a scooter. I ended up researching, calling, emailing about 8 companies just to be told that the motorbikes and scooters are all taken. So I decided to hire a car instead. It was also the same story. Most of the cars are not available anymore and the ones that are available are super expensive and way out of my budget. This is very common as companies raise their prices when they know that their product is in demand. Luckily, my Airbnb host knows a small company that she recommended and I was able to get a car in a fair price. This car company is great. They even waited for me in the airport even though my flight was 4 hours delayed. If you want to hire a car from this company, I will leave a link in the description down below. Number 2. Know your vehicle. If you're like me who haven't driven a lot of different cars, you will find that some cars operate differently to the car that you're used to. For example, at home in UK, I am driving a Ford that is automatic and when I was in Kefalonia, I was given a car called Opel that I never heard before and it's semi-automatic. The gears are different, the buttons are laid different so make sure you learn the layout of the car that you're driving before you set off. There is nothing worse than driving in the edge of the cliff in the middle of the night and you can't find the switches for your lights. True story bro, that happened to me. <laughs> Number 3. Parking is free in Kefalonia. Good news because I don't like paying parking. I think parking should be free everywhere. Just make sure you don't park on red lines, disabled lines, yellow lines, any type of lines. <laughs> no, <laughs> someone else's driveway or private land and you're good to go. The only place that I found in the whole of Kefalonia that is charging parking is in Petani Beach. So make sure when you go there, don't pay. Just park just before the beach on the foot of the mountain and you will be fine. Number four plan your journey. 
if you want to maximize your holiday and go to several locations in a day make sure you plan your journey ahead this will not only save you time and money and petrol it will also give you more time to spend on each location without feeling the need to drive around and be stressed for example, if you're going in the north, make sure you compile all the places you want to visit in the north rather than driving up and down the islands with no agenda at all. Number five, learn the roads and know the lanes. We all want to be in our destination as fast as we can, but the main thing is to be safe. There are runabouts in Kefalonia that can be a bit confusing. Also make sure to keep your eye out on drivers that are in the wrong lane. For example, in UK, if you are approaching the runabout and turning left first exit, you should be on the left lane so you can exit easily. However, I found it a bit different in Kefalonia. Cars on the left exits on the right. Cars on the right want to exit on the left. So it's a bit confusing. It's probably just the drivers that I encountered during my time there. But nonetheless, just keep an eye out just to be safe. Number six, expect the unexpected. So most of the roads in Kefalonia are a bit quieter, especially if you live in London. And I was driving around in a very scenic route, enjoying the views, and I checked the road ahead of me. It was clear. I checked on my back mirror. It was clear. And all of a sudden, this goat. <laughs> This goat just came out of nowhere and it startled me. Luckily, I was quick enough to react to avoid the potential accident. So, so don't worry guys, no animals were hurt during my time in Kefalonia. Number 7, Offline Maps. There are parts of the island that your data and your internet will not work. Hence, your navigation app might stop working altogether. Make sure you download Google Maps offline so even in the places that there is no signal, you will find your way home. Otherwise, you'll end up like E.T. trying to find your way home. Like E.T. phone home. <laughs> Number 8. Nobody follows the speed limit. When I was in Kefalonia, I didn't even see a police, a traffic enforcer, a speed camera, anything like that. So a lot of drivers really drive past the speed limit. They don't care really. So roads can be dangerous. Then on the other hand, there are drivers that drive slow but they are on the fast lane. Which is, I was like... Aah! But I was certainly guilty of this once I've learned the roads and I became confident in driving in Cavalonia, I also became a speed monster. Don't do that. Number 9. Priority lane or right of way. When I was learning to drive in the UK, I always been told not to stop when I'm in the priority lane. So for example, I'm in the main road driving and someone wants to join that lane make sure you go straight and not stop all of a sudden or abruptly because the driver behind you might not know that you're stopping because there's no red light it's green why are you stopping so by doing that you are causing traffic and you are causing a potential accident but i've seen it time and time again in Kefalonia, especially with the elderly drivers they like to give way even when they are in priority and in some instances i even saw drivers that are not in priority just darting through whether there's a car there that are priority or not so make sure you keep your eye peeled just to be safe number 10 magnifying mirrors in junction a lot of roads in Kefalonia are tight and narrow, especially when you are in the villages. So make sure you utilize those magnifying mirrors that are in the junctions to avoid accidents. At night, they are pretty useless as you do not see a thing, but make sure you use your ears too so you can hear if there's an oncoming vehicle or not. Best ways on situations like that is just to ease your car a little bit further in the edge until you see the road is clear 
which brings me to my next point narrow roads the roads in Kefalonia are good especially when you're in Argustoli or in bigger towns but when you reach the villages sometimes the road gets too narrow and only one car can get through so the key here is you have to drive slow and be patient and make sure you let other oncoming vehicles first this is what you call meeting traffic in this situation you need to know where to stop so you can give way to the oncoming vehicles or when to go so you don't block the traffic and cause an accident number 11 this is a fun one parallel parallel i never say that parallel parking besides a parked car this is probably unique to Kefalonia because I haven't seen this anywhere else. You will see this a lot in Argustoli because finding a parking space in Argustoli can be pretty difficult. So what the locals do is when there's no parking, what they do is they park parallel to the other park cars which cause traffic So because you only then have one working lane to work on, to drive on. And what they do is they put their hazard lights on and I guess they think it gives them the right to park there. I don't know why drivers think that putting the hazard light on gives them the right to park anywhere they want. In this case, in the middle of the road. <laughs> Although most of the time the drivers only park there very briefly to pick something up or just pop into the shop very quickly but it still cause a bit of a chaos especially when you're in a hurry this happened to me a few times when I'm in Argustoli but I didn't mind it didn't bother me it didn't get me mad I was on holiday and it didn't cause me inconvenience but it could be different for some number 12 I don't know how to do that with my hands drivers having a chat this one is funny one I like this one so I see drivers driving along and then they see someone that they know or familiar they want to talk to them so they call them call them in the middle of the road and they have a chat they have a conversation in the middle of the road where traffic supposed to be flowing they will stop have a chat and do their thing you know which is funny because in uk if that happens everyone will be livid people will be bossing their horns getting angry shouting but to my surprise in kefalonia everyone just waited for this guy you know and it just didn't happen once i think it happened a few times and i didn't hear a beep people are just relaxed in their car and then just waited for the flow of traffic to begin again which is kind of amazing and it shows you how the culture is different in Greece so I think for me that's so fun because it teach them how to relax and not to be on edge every time obviously it could be different if it's life and death situation if you have a family that you need to go to the doctors and you find out that this guy is chatting in the middle of the road having fun you know so that could be a different story number 13 driving on the other side of the road so in UK we drive on the left lane but in other countries such as Greece they drive on the right lane so it could be difficult for some so new drivers might find this a bit confusing at first I certainly found myself drifting a few times on the other side when I was on holiday then suddenly I snap and I just remember that I was in the wrong lane. Pro tip, just remember when you're driving, your body should be in the middle of the road. Find your body near the curve, that means you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Number 14, service stations or gasoline stations, petrol stations. This is a good one because in Kefalonia, the petrol stations are manned. They have employees to fill up your tank so you don't have to do anything all you need to do is roll your window tell them how much you want your tank to be filled and voila it's filled you don't have to go out and open your fuel tank and do it on your own which is i thought i only saw that in philippines before but they also do it in kefalonia 
there you go those are my tips on hiring and driving a car in Kefalonia I hope you found those helpful if I miss something or if you've been driving around in Kefalonia and I forgot something on this list please comment that on the section down below and of course I see you on the next video peace